Hi everyone, great to see you again. My name is Ollie and I'm a professional cooking teacher at Lester B. Pearson School of Culinary Arts and today I would like to show you a technique for portioning a whole chicken. The reason we want to buy um, our produce as whole as possible is because it's cost efficient. You're going to save about 25% of what you would otherwise pay if your food is already portioned for you. So let's get right into it. What do we need today? Firstly, we need a chicken. We need a saucepan because we're going to be making a stock out of all the trimmings. We're not going to waste anything today. We need a plate or a tray to put our portions on. We need a chef's knife, as we refer it to, and a boning knife or a knife with a thinner blade to get into the small uh, joints. First thing to do, we're going to take a piece of bit of paper towel and we're just going to pat dry the chicken a little bit um, so it doesn't roll all over the uh, chopping board and our knife doesn't slip around it. So we're just going to pat it off nice and dry. Get rid of our plate. There's nothing to be afraid about, we're in this together. Um, I'm going to guide you guys through. There's nothing to worry about. So, first thing we need to do, if you want to come forward, we're going to remove the string. The string's here to um, make for an even cooking when we're, when we're roasting our birds whole. So, we have our drumsticks or legs attached to the thighs. Up here we have the, the breasts, the breast bone down here, and then we have our wings sticking out. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our chef's knife, we're going to feel the joint here, and we're going to get rid of the little wing tip just by going straight down. Same on the other side, straight down, that goes into our stock pot. Next, we're going to remove the wings. The same thing, you can feel where the joint is. And where the joint is, there's going to be softer bone or cartilage that your knife can just run through. So we've got the wings, same with the other side. We're just going to feel where the joint is. And then our knife is just going to glide right through it with no pressure. We're going to trim away some of this fat because we actually don't want this fat in our stock afterwards. Next thing to do is to remove our legs. So as you can see here, there's a flap of skin. And the same on this side. We're going to take our knife and we're just going to, that's it. Just make a little incision in that skin. And there again. And then holding on to the breasts, we're gonna pop this out. So as you can see there, we've now released the joint that's holding the thigh um, to the rest of the body. This is when we take our knife and we run it down through the bone towards the end. And as you can see, we, there's no meat left there, it's just the bone. So now we're gonna turn it over. Same thing, little flap of skin, make a small incision, hold on to the breasts, and then we're gonna pop the bone right there. And then with our thin blade, sharp blade, we're just gonna follow the bone through. And that's it, now we're left with what's known as a crown if we were to remove this. So we just have the breasts. This extra skin here, I'm going to remove. So let's finish preparing this here. Here we have the drumstick and the thigh. We want to separate these together. So if you just open it up here, you can feel the same thing. You can feel where there's a joint, where the cartilage is going to be so much easier to cut through than a bone would. So once you've found the joint, you just take your knife and it just goes right through. And it's, it's, it's not going through any bones, so you're not damaging your knife. It's just going through um, the cartilage. So there we have our thighs, our thigh and our drumstick separately. Now, there's another way to present this uh, French style where we trim off the bone and pull out the tendons. We'll show you that in another video. The same again here. We've got our drumstick, our thigh. We're going to turn it over and we're going to just feel where that joint is. So right there, no pressure. Straight through the cartilage. And then what you can do is just trim off any, any excess skin or fat. So we have our thighs taken care of, we've taken care of our wings. Now we need to 
take care of the breast. Down here we have the breastbone. The two breasts are on either, either side. We're gonna start with our knife, with the tip, and we're gonna just run it down to release it from the breastbone. We always try and keep our blade as close as possible to bone, and then we know that we're not gonna go through any um, too much meat. There's not gonna be a lot of wastage. And then you can just take your time. If you feel like a little bit nervous, take a breath. Nothing's gonna happen while you're not doing anything. It's not gonna fall apart, come back to life, or break up. And then following the bone with the tip of the blade, we're just gonna See, I'm really just using about two centimeters of the end of the blade, just to ease the flesh away from the bone. And then we follow it down, remembering to be close to, as close to the bones as possible. And then in here, we can feel the same thing. Right there, it's cartilage, it's not bone. So we wanna take our knife, our chef's knife, and we just wanna release it away like that. And then here we have, a beautiful breast. If you want, you can take off this little wing drum drumstick here, but we're gonna keep the bone because we, we're gonna, we wanna use that for a dish we're gonna make. And there we have one breast, I'll show you with the other one. So turn it around, and then we're gonna go back to front this time. Starting from the back, going down the breastbone, keeping my blade as close as possible to any bones in the rib cage. And then just with the tip of the knife, we're just gently easing it away like this. If you do leave some flesh behind on the bones, you really don't need to worry about it. We're gonna be using all of this bone. We're gonna make a lovely stock. So if there is actually a little bit of um, meat on the bone, it will help the flavor of the stock. So again, down here, it's not bone, it's just the joint. Just gonna release it down like that. And there we have our second breast. We're just gonna trim it up. Again, what we can do, what we like to do in the industry, is we like to just, what's called French trim our bones. Um, I'll show you one now. Where we just run down the knuckle like this all the way around, and then we pull off that bit of flesh. And there we have a chicken breast that's ready, French style, French trimmed. Okay, so now all we have left is our carcass. I have a pot there. So far in the pot, I have my little wing tips. We're gonna add the carcass. I'm gonna just chop through it. You don't have to. It'll fit in my pot a little bit easier. So now we have all of our trimmings in there. No wastage, just what we said. So, what we're gonna do now with our breasts, is we're gonna prepare this, we're gonna be preparing this uh, to make chicken cacciatore. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to now use this whole chicken that you've portioned into a lovely tomato-y, olive-y, Italian chicken dish. So you cut the breast in half, like this, closer to the, the larger end because we want the weight of the portions to be a similar size. So just like that. Just gonna go over our thighs to make sure that we did trim off any excess fat. Okay, now let's talk about our stock. A good ratio to remember when making a stock, a fish stock, any type of meat stock, is a ratio of 20% vegetables to the amount of um, protein that you have. So if we have a kilo of bones, we're gonna want 200 grams of vegetables. The vegetables that you put in the stock is up to you. Classically, we use what's called a mirepoix, which is carrot, onion, celery, sometimes leek, uh, 
uh, bouquet garni, which is bay leaves and peppercorns and some herbs. I went into my fridge and just saw what I needed to use up. So I had a couple of mushrooms. I'm gonna put those directly in. I had a little bit of thyme left, so I'm gonna put some thyme in. A couple of bay leaves, some peppercorns. I had one carrot, one small carrot, I'll put that in. I had the center of a, um, a celery heart that not everyone uses, the leaves, it's gonna give it a nice flavor. Be careful with the celery because it has a very strong flavor, so you don't wanna to put too much. Onion, I had half an onion, so I'm gonna put that in. Some garlic cloves, which there is no need to peel, just like that, and then the rest of the peppercorns. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna fill it up with cold water. I'm gonna put it on the stove. I'm gonna simmer it for about four to five, three, three to five hours. Have it just covered just enough with water. If you add too much water, it's gonna be a watery flavored stock. You're gonna see some impurities and scum rise to the top of your stock. Every now and then, momentarily, you just wanna skim or remove those impurities. You also don't wanna boil your stock. Make sure it's a very gentle, low bubble, a little simmer. Delicious, you could um, make it, freeze it, uh, use it in your soups, your casseroles. We're gonna use a little bit of it in our chicken cacciatore. Um, a really good skill to use, and it really makes your dishes um, elevates you the dishes that you're going to make when you're using your own chicken stock as opposed to a cube or a powder. So that's the stock. And then if we come over here, we can just have a look at our chicken. We have our breasts, we have our wings. The wings are also quite nice in a stock, it gives a little bit more flavour. We have our drumsticks and our two thighs. And that's one way to prepare a chicken for sauté. Uh, like I say, in the next video, we're going to take this chicken, we're going to take our chicken stock, and we're going to turn it into a beautiful dish. Um, again, thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, if you do decide to cook along to make these recipes, let us know. We'd be delighted to hear that. Um, and if you have any requests for future videos, please let us know. Thanks a lot. Happy cooking. Take care.